Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petiti Garden Centers and it's spring, thank goodness. So we just wanted to show you there is a lot of color that you can use outside um, when we can't really dig in the, in the soil beds or landscape just yet because we're still pretty squishy out there. But you can of course add color to container gardens, window boxes, hanging baskets even if you wanna get started. Um, and there's a ton of color, um, especially your cold crops. So that's what you're gonna see at this time of year. Number one, you'll usually see these first. This is Lenten Rose. We have a couple varieties here. We have Primrose down below. There's actually three different varieties. A drumstick type, which grows up just like a lollipop, if you will, so that's Supernova. We have Danova down below, which is a nice short, uh, you know, edger type of Primrose. And then we also have a new one that we sort of discovered, didn't we, Taylor? It is sort of a ruffled, uh, shorter, primrose called Elodie. So we're kind of excited about that. It was a it was a surprise when we were looking this morning. And then of course all your pansies and violas. So beautiful penny. Um, the even larger viola in the front is called Color Max and it's a beautiful springy assortment. Um, what else do I have? Of course spring bulbs. So our bulbs are just starting to come out and you are just ooh, look at we're, we're getting bu uh, just buds on these daffodils right now. So we have daffodils, hyacinth, some tulips as well. And we also have some really cool perennials. So this drumstick armeria or sea thrift is always great. Early color, really, really um, easy to grow for us. And that's dream area, dreamland. And then we also have some mossy saxifrage, which are these two red and scenic white. So we are gonna plant some containers. We started out with just some ceramic containers, Really cool texture on this one. Um, we're, we're starting to see this kind of cool, I don't know it's, if it's beachy texture or more of like a moon rock texture, but it, they really are neat. And we just filled it with planting mix. Um, no um, drainage holes were open at the bottom, so nothing blocking the drainage holes, of course. And then we are gonna add some bulb tone to fertilize the root system and we're gonna plant. So we're ready, touch of spring for the front door, porch, patio, wherever you'd like to get some spring color. Um, again, with uh, your spring bloomers, they really don't need a lot of care, a lot of water, much fertilizer. Um, you can sprinkle a little bit of Osmocote in these planters, you don't really need to. We would put some bulb tone in the planters, just a little bit, maybe like a quarter cup, half cup into the planters, just a little bit of fertilizer. And then make sure when you're done planting, just thoroughly water to moisten the soil and let it drain out the bottom and then do it one more time. And I'll bet you, you won't have to water very much at all. Keep on sticking your finger in there every once in a while. If you feel like it's getting dry, maybe two inches deep, three inches deep, then that's when I'd consider watering again. But please don't overwater these plants because when it's cold, they're not using as much uh, water. The water's not evaporating. So again, they can be very wet at the bottom. And that of course is never a good thing. So do watch your watering for containers, especially in springtime. This is the neat thing about using all different types of plant material in your spring containers is you can actually take these plants after they're finished blooming 
and go ahead and move them to your garden beds or other containers. But I would say garden beds because for the most part, you've got very hardy, cold hardy, perennial plants and bulbs here in these containers. You can move the hyacinths once they're totally bloomed out. You can pop them out and maybe go ahead and install them in the landscape and then maybe pop a different annual because by the time they get totally bloomed out, we might have more and different color available that would be able to take the warmer conditions, okay? So think about that. Whenever you're container gardening, it's changeable, it's movable, and, and plant material can be just popped out in exchange for another plant that you're really into, that you really like the color. So keep that in mind. Especially hellebores, they can be moved and transitioned into the garden. I'd probably try to transplant them out of the pot before it gets hot for the summer. And that goes for any of these perennials that are growing in the pots. Go ahead and move them out of the pots before the heat of the summer so they can get established in the garden. You can tell if you watch my videos, it's cold. I never wear gloves. Um, I really don't enjoy planting with gloves on, but my fingers are bright red. Um, so needless to say, it's really cold out right now, but these plants can take it. So don't be afraid to use all the color that's available to you get gardening in containers for right now because we know these are gonna drain out and do a little bit better for us than actual in-ground planting right now at this time of year and enjoy.